needs to go completely. None of this nonsense about clinging on for a few months. He's inflicted lies, fraud and chaos in the country. And, you know, we're stuck with a, function, with a government which isn't functioning in the middle of a cost of living crisis. And all of those that have been propping him up should be utterly ashamed of themselves. We've had 12 years of a stagnant economy, 12 years of broken public services, 12 years of empty promises. Enough is enough. And the change we need is not a change at the top of the Tory party. It's much more fundamental than that. We need a change of government and a fresh start for Britain. It's obvious he's unfit to be Prime Minister. That's been blindingly obvious for a very, very long time. And if they don't get rid of him, then Labour will step up in the national interest and bring a vote of no confidence because we can't go on with this Prime Minister clinging on for months and months to come. I think first and foremost there will be an overwhelming and very widespread sense of relief today that Boris Johnson's time as Prime Minister, which should probably never have been allowed to happen in the first place, is coming to an end. I do think it is quite incredible, though, to suggest that he will remain as Prime Minister for another three to four months. I think the sooner he is out of number 10, and preferably that is today, the better. Long overdue, I would say. Yeah, he's been struggling for months, telling lies, misleading everybody, full of flannel, bluff and bluster. Boris should be gone and will be gone. To, as you say, you've heard he's going to be gone today. So, yeah, good news. And who's going to replace him? God only knows. But. Yeah, it's about time. I think it was inevitable after the Pincher affair, I think after the party gate. Um, the lie upon lie upon lie upon lie, I think it's the British public for fools. Uh, he's some sort of megalomaniac, I think. I don't. I didn't agree with the Brexit idea. I didn't. I didn't agree with any of his policies. I don't think. Um, and I think now we just need a new leader, things that's going to uh, get the country back in order. But I think overall, I think his legacy will be that he. He was a British Donald Trump. The public had lost interest in him. They'd lost faith in him. And every time he opened his mouth, he seemed to be telling lies. I think that was the right response. I think there's a lot of people that are uh, against him. Obviously, when the cabinet members started to uh, resign, I think it was really time for him to go. It, it's, it's a good thing if we improve him for better, you know what I'm saying? Because if someone is going to take the place and do the same as him, uh, it's not improving at all. So, good luck for the next one. Something as, as big as tonight. You know, sexual assault or you know, just anything like that should be taken really seriously and not just brushed under the rug. Um, yeah, I think it's it's not. No matter if it's an MP, they should be held accountable, and especially if the prime minister knows which is like the top of our, you know, society. Um, it's his responsibility to make sure it's deal, dealt with, especially if it's in his party. It's not like it was another party; it was his party, his government. And yeah, he, he, he should take the blame. I think it is time for new leadership. Prime Minister. I, I thank him very much for the, for the point that he's, uh, he's, made, he's made again.